Hey, what's up guys, Tim here again. Got another short tutorial for you today. And we're learning to tie the four strand foot rope knot. And this is almost like a four strand diamond knot where uh, you have four strands and they converge to uh, one end and you can tie this as a uh, you know stopper knot or lanyard knot. This is gonna be very important for a few upcoming tutorials I have. So um, yeah, that said, let's get into it. So I've got four strands here. I've just bound them together with a whipping knot just to, just for this demo purpose. And we're going to start off by making a square knot or set it up like a square knot. So I'm going to take my first strand up top here. I'm going to bend it over like an elbow, just like this. Then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to over that one. So those two are overlapping. I'm going to take this strand and go over that one. Now for the last strand, we're going to go over the top strand here, and the one on the right, and then we're going to go under the last one like so. Okay, so let's just close that up a bit. There we go. So now we have the makings of a square knot. So now from here, uh, it's quite simple, but it can get a little confusing. So um, notice how there's essentially four sides because it is a box knot or square knot. So one, two, three, four. You're going to take the uh, strand on one of these corners and you're going to bring it around the corner and go make sure you go underneath the strand and go up and out through the middle here so this strand will go past this one here and through the opening and out through the middle so let's do that so I'm going to pass this strand here go out and up through the middle and there we go okay so and for each successive one, make sure you go underneath. Never go uh, through the middle here like that. Okay, so now the next one, we're going to go past this corner here. And we're going to go up through the middle like so. And there you go. Let's keep those aside. For the next one, we're going to go on this side. So we're going to go past the green one here. And we're going to go up and out through the middle, like so. Now for this last one, that should be this red one here. Yep, so up and out through the middle, like so. This might take you a few tries at first, but... Um, yeah, it just might seem a little confusing at first. Okay, so now you want to gather your four strands here and you want to start cinching. Now cinch slowly. Don't um, just yank on everything because it will, will cause it to look messed up and it might not look right. So I'm just going to slowly form everything together like so. And if we've played our cards right. Yes, there we go. We have our four strand foot rope knot. And I really do like to think of it. It's very similar in terms of looks to like a, um, almost like a diamond knot, but it's not quite the same. All right, so there we have our foot rope knot, four strands. And uh, yeah, it's a great way for converging four strands at the end of any sort of lanyard or bracelet into a simple little decorative knot like this. And so, as you can see, we have four strands up top here, and you can probably guess where I'm going with this. We're going to be doing some four-strand uh, knot and loop bracelets. We're probably going to be re revisiting some older um, videos that I've done, like the ones that we've done on buckles, and we'll do them on knot and loop because I know some of you people are knot and loop people out there. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial. Hope you find it useful. If there's anything that uh, you're unclear of, please do. Leave a comment down below. Get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. That would really help me out. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye. <laughs>